Hi there guys, this is Armco Outdoors and I am in Idaho Springs, Colorado today. I had to come up to the firehouse to take care of a couple things and grab some equipment for my hunting trip to uh, Wisconsin over Thanksgiving here coming up and it's snowing and I decided to bring some gear. Uh, I had some emails from some of you guys asking me what my layering system or what I really liked, some of my favorite winter gear and I wanted to just come up with some gear that I would take this trip with. I knew it was going to be snowing here in Idaho Springs. I didn't know it was going to be snowing this much. Uh, it's about 20 degrees and I wanted to bring what I'd typically wear on a day like today in Colorado, whether it be hiking or just coming up, you know, in Idaho Springs to stop at Bojo's or a brewery or something like that. I'm going to walk through my gear real quick. And this is just, as I said, for if this isn't for like long distance hiking or backpacking or camping, nothing like that. It's just kind of a what I'd wear and to highlight some new gear that I got and that I really love. So these guys are my Hestra Ergo Grip Active Gloves. I've had these for a couple years now. They are perfect for stuff like this. They're pre-curved on the fingertips, which is amazing. Um, I use them walking Breck in the winter. I eat doing this kind of stuff. I will take them back to Wisconsin. They're not insulated, so I don't leave them out for too long. Um, just kind of standing here and filming. My hands are getting a little cold, but um, that's to be expected unless I, I step up to my big Hester gloves, which I have. But these guys are very, my dexterity is good. I can film still, click buttons. Nice leather, Gore-Tex wind stop in there. Velcro tabs. Hestra makes amazing gloves. They're pretty much my go-to when it comes to a nice quality insulated or uh, everyday glove. Uh, moving on, I will talk about these pants that I'm ha I have on. These are the Eddie Bauer Guide Pro lined pant. They're fleece lined and they're stretchy. They're a hiking style pant with a pocket here, two pockets on the back. An absolutely amazing pant if you guys are looking for kind of a winter do-it-all hiking every day. I use them when I walk Breck now when it's cold. It, they are amazing. I bought these at the outlet here in Colorado. They are $100 online, which is a little steep. Probably still worth it at that price point, but Eddie Bauer is always doing like half off and I got these for 50 bucks, which is a steal. Probably gonna go pick up a couple more colors. I, you know, these are, they fit really well. This is a 30 inch inseam and I'm uh, about 5'10 and uh, they are amazing. So awesome pants there. If it was a little bit more cold, I'd probably have some long johns on underneath or my other fleece compression or maybe some merino wool or something like that. But for 20 degrees and I'm moving, it's, they are perfect. I also have my Loa Renegade boots on, which I was sent a couple months ago from them. I took them on a 14er this summer. A little heavy for 14ers, I think, but for this kind of stuff, when it's not too cold and I don't need an insulated boot, I think these are amazing. They are Gore-Tex lined with some new buck leather, so no water's getting in. Good Vibram sole absolutely love these things and they look good so it'd be a good everyday boot if it was a little bit colder i'd probably have my solomon they're called the solomon outblasts which are insulated with thinsulate and they have a fur lining i'm really excited to test those out i probably should have just brought them with me but um, i'm not up here all day so it's okay and then i've got some smart wool or uh I think I have REI wool socks on underneath. My feet are great. Then moving on to my hat that I have on. This is the Superior Fleece. Uh, they are made in Duluth, Minnesota. It's on Etsy. And these guys make Polar Tech uh, micro grid equipment. They make men's hoodies, women's hoodies, and then these hats. So they're a small kind of cottage company, just like Melanzana here in Colorado. They use the same materials. And uh, I got this, they actually sent me two of these and I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head review. This is their 100 denier fleece, not denier, uh, 100 thickness fleece. Um, and they have different sizes. This is a large, which is awesome because I have a pretty pretty big head. Uh, so I can pick the size. I don't like when beanies are suffocating my head. Awesome company, they, they make them all by hand and they're on Etsy. So I'll put a link in the description to them. This isn't an affiliate video. I'm not affiliated with them. This is just me supporting a company that I think is doing an awesome job. But yeah, warm, thin, fits extremely well. And I love that this, uh, microgrid material. And so speaking of microgrid, I will move on to my layering system for today, which I think layering is super important. People will go buy like a $400 jacket and expect it to keep them warm with a t-shirt on underneath. And that's just not how things work. You know, I see it a lot, especially in Idaho Springs. We run calls on people in the winter when they get cold and they, they come from out of state or whatever. But uh, yeah, they, you know, layering is important. And this would be a layering system that I would wear, obviously, today. 
to the 20 degrees, a little wind, snowing, and I'm perfectly content right now. I, I, I'm warm. So on the outside, I have my T-Rex Adam LT jacket. This is my favorite jacket I've ever had. I did a review on my channel. It's my last video. Um, it's doing really well, obviously, because our T-Rex makes great stuff and people want to know about this jacket. The Adam LT, it's, I really can't say enough good things other than the only negative I ever say about this jacket is when you have a wet snow, obviously it's not a rain jacket, it would get soaked in the rain, but when you have a wetter snow, um, the DWR coating on it does help, but it starts to get wet. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does start to get wet, which is fine. It's a synthetic insulation, so it still will insulate when it's wet. Um, but I use this thing from everything to day trips, to hiking. I take it on backpacking trips. I take it when I, when I just dick around at home. It is an awesome jacket. So I have this on the outside synthetic insulated not the warmest jacket i have but if you layer right you don't need it and then i have an rtrx delta fleece this is the same material here actually almost exactly the same 100 layer uh, fits extremely well has a quarter zip here this kind of base layer this fleece ba base layer is one of my favorites the other that i'm going to be doing reviews on are uh, i got some smart wool stuff coming my way 250 uh, thickness crew insulation or a base layer which i'm going to bring to wisconsin and and when i really need it that's going to be very cold in wisconsin this thanksgiving and i'll be doing videos of that too but this for every day you know you can wear this as a standalone i have a t-shirt on underneath you if it's not that cold you can wear it as a standalone or you can you can mid-layer it like what i'm doing right here and uh you're good to go and then i just have a, a t-shirt on under here normal t-shirt and yeah i'm warm i'm good so this is Kind of what I'd wear on a day trip. Just wanted to show you guys some new gear because I got some questions about it. But yeah, I mean, I'm good. My, my toes actually are a little cold, but I don't have the warmest socks on. So um, I probably will go grab my Solomon boots here soon and, and get them out for you guys. They're the Outblast by Solomon. I'm really excited to review those. But well, before I go, uh, we are at like 930 subs. I've been gaining quite a few subs recently and that's awesome. I'm trying to be consistent with my videos. And if you guys like this kind of content or you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate a subscribe or even a like, a comment, comment, you know, your guys' favorite winter gear in the, in the comments. I'd love to hear, I'd love to get my hands on more stuff to test and, uh, and really kind of see what you guys are thinking. But yeah, if you guys like this content, you can subscribe. I will be doing this, this all from here on out. I'm trying to be more consistent and really hitting that thousand thousand sub mark would be awesome um, and you guys are going to you know hopefully make that happen for me but uh, for now this is my basic layering system my favorite kind of winter gear for a day like today and i hope you guys like it and have a good one